Hi, this is Michelle B. Hill with the University of Wyoming Extension Money Minute. Today I'm going to talk about being prepared for a financial emergency. You've worked hard to care for your home and save for your future, but disasters can lead to financial emergencies. A financial emergency is any expense or loss of income that you do not plan for, like a missed paycheck, a damaged roof, a flat tire, or a medical bill. Um, this, I'm going to be talking, the information that I'm getting is from FEMA. Um, so they say six out of 10 households in America experience at least one financial emergency in a year. About a third of American families do not have any savings. And, and that statistic depends on who you talk to, but it's really a high percentage considering that we have a, um, uh, the gross demand, that we're, we really do have a decent, we're not a third world country, so uh, savings is really important. Also, they say about half of Americans would struggle to come up with the $400 to cover an emergency. So what they need, uh, what I'm gonna talk about is how to prepare. And so right now, what would be an important thing is to start an emergency savings account. Start small, it doesn't matter what amount. If you have some money put aside, um, that's really important to do right now. You wanna reduce debt by making sure that you make regular payments and making sure your bills are paid on time and that you, you know, that you have a budget to go by as well. So start with an emergency savings account, review your insurance coverage, including flood, health and homeowners, or renter's insurance. Remember that flood insurance takes typically takes 30 days to go into effect. And you wanna make sure that you're, um, you check your insurance coverage every year, that's important. Create and update your emergency plan. You want to make sure that you have your, uh, by having a plan in place for an emergency, you want to keep your important records safe electronically and by having a paper copy as well. I call it the ICE. And you want to put it in a fireproof and a waterproof container and let somebody, your significant other, know about it. You want to protect your property by taking photos and videos of the property beforehand, keeping a copy at your safety deposit box or somewhere else, keeping cash, uh, keep cash in a secure place just in case the banks or financial institutions go down. And then during an emergency, what you want to do is to use your emergency savings and in addition to the things that you have in your house to survive, um, you want to make sure that you are in contact with any of your uh, creditors and let them know what's going on if that's possible. Um, you want to reach out for disaster assistance if you need to at disasterassistance.gov or you can call community at um, community-based uh, resources by dialing 211 in each state. Wyoming has the Wyoming 211. Also, you could contact community organizations. Um, after an emergency, you want to uh, uh, make sure you list all the property damage you wanna file any claims, you wanna make sure that you're not being scammed and then prioritize your spending. Um, so make sure that there's a lot of things to do in case of a financial emergency, but those are some of them. So you can start your emergency savings account, make sure that you have your important documents ready to go and contact any of your uh, people that you need to contact regarding an emergency. Um, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please like it and share. Have a great day.